Hello everyone, welcome back to another devlog update. So, in this episode, we'll be focusing on artwork and adding mechanics to the game. As of currently, I am ready to publish a demo of the game, so I'll be working hard to get that done. But for now, I'll be doing the art for this episode. In my opinion, the current art style is lacking something, so I made it more fluid. I also redesigned the enemies, so they're more numerous and various in types. Then, I started working on the ranking system. So, every time a unit levels up, they'll have a different rank. The rank will determine how much buffs the unit will get. So, if you have a higher ranking unit, they'll obviously be better at combat than more ranking ones. As of right now, the only way to rank up a unit is to level them up yourselves, so you have to put them into combat. And this encourages uh, trading out units because you want to put fresher units in the front line so they get more combat experience while, you know, more senior units will be in the back line as a safeguard. After all that's done, I imported all the assets into the game and started working on the code. You can see the new uh, movement animations in full effect here. You can also see the new enemies, which are more easier to spot. Plus, they're also easier to render in larger numbers. I did a little tweaking on the animations. Then I started working on the game manager system. I'm not sure how it's going to be at the end, but as of right now, uh, enemies spawn in waves. The player jobs will then be from defending themselves from uh, enemies that come in those waves, and using the gold from the enemies to get more units. I started working on a new uh, unit button. I tried several different designs, and I eventually set on one. I also updated the movement system a little bit so that units will move in a order. So they will attack and then get back in formation, which I think is pretty neat. I also added the rank system, so you can see the top unit right there, leveling up after they defeat an enemy. I also added camera movement, so using the BSD keys and zooming in with this uh, mouse wheel, you can move around the map. As a demonstration, let's say you want to move your units in a line. All you have to do is arrange them individually and then select the group as a whole, and then you should move as a unit. So that is it for this update, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, like I said, I'll be working on the demo for the game, and hopefully that'll be out within next week. I'm still continuing to add in new improvements to the game, so stay in tune.